Good afternoon to you. If you don't like hot weather, then you're not going to like this forecast one little bit. It's hot at the moment, as of course we all know, and that hot weather is going to be with us right the way through the week. The charts through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday showing little, if any, change at all. Now we have a, a little bit of a fly in the ointment at the moment. Well, two of them really, those little weather fronts there. One of them has brought some outbreaks of thundery rain this morning through parts of Wales and down towards uh, Dorset. And I think that particular little crop of uh, cloud and outbreaks of rain will tend to fizzle in the very near future and then it should be dry and bright with some hazy sunshine just about everywhere but perhaps only for a while because later on this afternoon cloud bubbling up again one or two of those thundery showers breaking out difficult to say exactly where probably near hilly parts central southern England parts of the Midlands and down towards the Channel Islands also at risk. Now another variation in the weather is along that eastern coast, some mist and fog rolling in off the sea from time to time, really holding the temperatures back there and refreshing sea breezes around all other coasts and it is certainly going to be a very hot, sticky afternoon just about everywhere, up to 30 degrees. Slender chance even of a shower for the test match this afternoon and those thundery showers rumbling on through the night, otherwise a, a dry night everywhere and a very hot and sticky one. Tomorrow's chart is very similar, so the weather is very similar. Some cloud over Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, breaking up during the day. Most of us hot and sunny, but perhaps a bit on the hazy side, and just here and there, one or two of those thundery showers in the latter part of the day. Tuesday, virtually identical, very hot again. Somewhat cooler along that east coast, where still that mist and fog may be lingering and feeding in on those easterly winds. Now, those easterly winds are going to feature later on in the week. We're going to have a squeeze, more and more isobars coming in on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And that means to say that across the southern part of the country, those easterly winds are going to pick up. They'll get quite strong across the southeastern corner of the country, as well as in the English Channel. And they will perhaps take the top off the temperature, but basically the weather's going to remain very identical through Wednesday and indeed the latter part of the week. Most places dry, hot and sunny. If it's dry. been the driest four, driest four months since 19... You remember six. The reason, well, high pressure is keeping these weather fronts at bay. It's keeping these thunderstorms more down over France and Spain than over the British Isles. And the high pressure will continue to dominate the weather during this coming week. The only change we can see is rather more of an easterly breeze coming through, uh, keeping those eastern coasts uh, much more refreshing and much cooler, uh, but uh, also affecting some other central parts of Britain as well. But the hot weather continuing for most of us, the hot and the dry weather as well. And that does mean with uh, high pressure and the presently light winds, some low air quality. That's what's been bad today mid Wales, London and East Sussex but the wind may improve that as we go through the week. This is where the thunderstorms have actually been over the last uh, uh, hour or so mainly over France and Spain and up over uh, Norway as well but one or two getting into western parts of the province there as well and there have been one or two in the southwest of England as well. That's the way it looks tonight. Very few showers, mostly dying away, largely a dry night, a, a misty night in many eastern parts of Britain, and a very sticky night too as we go through the night. Temperatures in most places down to 15 Celsius. In some places, such as London, uh, as high, as low, as a very oppressive 20 Celsius during the course of the night. That's tomorrow's chart, that mist and low clouds in the east, largely burning away quite quickly during the morning to have broken clouds and sunny spells there too. Broken clouds developing in the west and south as well. And there will be some tantalizing thunderstorms developing again later on in the day, especially over the high ground, with a slightly greater risk, we think, perhaps over the high ground of southwest England and in the Channel Islands as well. But very few, most places staying completely dry, sunny, and hot. Rather more of a breeze coming through, those eastern coasts staying pleasantly refreshing with those onshore breezes. Onshore breezes developing elsewhere too, but it's the east coast I think will have the most pleasant temperatures, 18 to 23 degrees Celsius inland, if anything even higher than today in an oppressive range, 28 to 32 or perhaps even 33.